Hello and welcome to part two of uh, using hotkeys and reason to increase your productivity. We're just going to go ahead and jump into this. I hope you've watched part one and have taken some notes on that and keeping those notes nearby so that you can practice using those keys and so that they become second nature. I'd recommend doing the same thing, uh, taking notes here so you can keep that nearby and become familiar, familiar with these keys. So uh, one important area that I missed last time was uh, the very a very basic area, and that's just the tools uh, up at the top in the sequencer here. So starting from the left, these essentially match up to the QWERTY keys on your keyboard. So Q is the selection tool here. So I'll go off of that and I press Q, and we've got that there. Another thing to note is that if you have the selection tool selected and you're in the sequencer and you press alt you then have the pencil tool you're, this is by holding down alt okay w w is the pencil tool and um, with this particular tool if you hold down alt it will change back to the selection tool and I'll let go and we're back to the pencil. E is the eraser tool. Holding down Alt will change to the pencil tool. And R is the razor tool. Holding down Alt will give you the pencil tool. And one thing I'd like to mention about the razor tool, one little trick that could help you out in the future is if you'd like to make some, if you'd like to cut clips along a large group or all of the tracks in a particular area, one thing you can do is click in the ruler and you see it created the cuts on both of these. Anything, any tracks below the ruler will be cut by doing that. And I'll control Z to undo that and move on. T is the mute tool. And this is just you simply click on a clip and mute it. Click again to unmute it. If you hold down Alt, you have the razor tool. And if you're going to use the razor tool, you can click on an individual clip uh, like so. Control Z. And next we have the magnifying tool, which is Y. And that will zoom. If you hold down Control, it will zoom out. Pressing Alt will turn it into the hand tool. And you can do things like grabbing here in the arrange pane and moving like so and the last one U is the hand tool holding down alt with the hand tool will give you the magnifying tool which we just covered so next we're gonna move to the rack and I'm going to change, get my selection tool back by hitting Q, and F6 brings up the rack. So, and actually, I'm going to uh, hit F6 and F7 together so that I can get a split view here. Because one thing that I wanted to show you is that if you hold down Alt while clicking an automatable parameter, in one of your devices, it will automatically create a lane below for an automation lane within the sequencer. Uh, I hope that it will put it up top here. It may be down at the bottom, but I'll have to scroll. But you can see at the, the last track that I have is an audio track. So if it shows up at the bottom, we'll see it there, but I'm hoping it will just show up here. So I'll click, I'll hold down the Alt and click on Rate. And as you can see, modulation rate shows up here.
I'll maximize the mixer so that you can see the Maelstrom here now has the modulator B rate and that's by clicking the alt or holding down alt while clicking on a parameter within any instrument or even the mixer certain mixer parameters as well and I'll just close that out and next on the numeric keypad the plus key my tempo currently is set to 95 the plus key on the numeric keypad will raise that up the minus key will then lower it if you have a lot of clips and you'd like to edit them in some way uh, control A will uh, select well it just selected all of the tracks here so but if you would like to I think maybe by and this has happened to me before and I'm not quite sure what the deal is or how I correct it but um, all of these tracks are now selected when I hit control A I'll just but I hit control A there and now I've got the clips that's what I was originally trying to show and I'll just click in an empty area in the range pane to deselect those but control A uh, is selecting will select all of the clips here but I've still got all of these lanes all of these tracks rather selected but I guess I'm just not going to worry about that now I'll have to look more into that now I'm going to uh, hit R and bring up the razor tool you can use this you know to cut make a cut within any clip on an audio or MIDI clip but I'm bringing that back to show you that you can hit control J I'll bring the selection tool up by hitting Q select the first one hit shift and select the second one and I'll hit control J and now they're joined one other uh, uh, tip that I really like is uh, nudging and you can select the clip I'm just selecting that MIDI clip there you can hold control down and use the left or right arrow keys on your keyboard to then move it by these uh, whatever you have your set snap set up for it's now for bar so you can see I hold control right arrow and it moves by bar if you control shift and use the right arrow or left it's going to move by beat okay now let's move to the mixer and within the mixer this channel here is currently highlighted you can tell by the blue border one way to navigate in the mixer is by also using the right or left arrow keys I'm gonna right arrow key and you can see that the selection then moves like so one other thing you can do is um, press the home key and that will go all the way to the left you can press the end key that will go all the way to the right and looking at the EQ here if you turn the EQ on within the spectrum EQ and raise the gain on this EQ point you can hold down alt and adjust the Q like so and control clicking will then bring that down to zero okay and so I think we'll leave it there uh, hope you made some notes on these thanks for watching and take care